Hello, Felix. What's Felix here? The age stage of this year's Tour de France is going to be from Agarande <laughs> to Super Basis Sansi. And it's going to be a hilly stage. It's going to be for the punches. And the last. I think that the hill that's gonna be the most difficult to get over is gonna be the last one because that's gonna be they're gonna be riding with 40 kilometers uh, kilometers an hour on the last kilometer. That's gonna be very fast. I think this is this is perfect for a breakaway because they got the little hill just to soften uh, soften up the f peloton. So I think the breakaway is gonna win this. But if the breakaway is not gonna win it, it's gonna be the guys among uh, the GZ riders. Alberto Contador showed great skills in the th fourth or fifth stage, I can't remember, that was the hilly one at the end. Showed great skills in that stage. I think that Contador is going to be uh, gonna be aggressive, because he's down with time. He has, what is that, one, one twenty, tw 120 minutes after Andy Schleck. So I think that Alberto Contador is going to start the Pyrenees with some quick uh, cycling. <laughs> Oh, and sorry for my bad English at this moment because I'm so happy because we're going to Germany tomorrow. I live in Denmark, so just a little heads up. Can Evans beat Contador? That is the question. He did it on the fourth of his stage. Can't remember either that, but Kyle Evans, he's going to be the biggest competitor in the GC at this moment because he just looks ready. I think that Ange Lake, he's not, he's so young, young, he, he doesn't know what it has, what it, uh, he, that, <laughs> I th I'm just gonna talk about Evans. I'm happy. Sorry, I think that Evans is gonna be. It's either gonna be Contador or Evans or the breakaway guys. So I said in the start that I think there's gonna be a breakaway who's gonna win, and I think in the breakaway it's either gonna be Dumoulin, Sa Sandy Kassar, I think this, <laughs> Pierre Roland. Uh, what's the other guys? <laughs> I, I should have pulled them up. Ger and Geraint Thomas, I actually think is gonna go on a breakaway. And the last guy I can't really remember who it is. So uh, Sylvan Chevenel, I think it is. But I think it's gonna it's gonna be a Frenchman maybe. Or Jerain Thomas because Sky's Tour Franks is kinda fucked up because Bradley Wiggins. So I think that Jerain Thomas is gonna get a lead he's gonna be f uh, free tomorrow. So I think it is if it's gonna be a breakaway it's either gonna be one of those four to five guys. This is the second time I have to see this. Hello for YouTube, what's failure? And we finally entered the Pyrenees. We are now going up the super best sound scene, and this is going to be quite interesting because I think we got a chance in the little hill at the end to get at least 20 seconds on slick. I think that. But yeah, I tried playing, you know, tried riding the last uh, time trial, and I got one minute on slick. So we have to get one minute on slick before the time trial, and then a bit more so I can win the jersey. <laughs> See you when the race starts. Central. The road from Aigurand presents no real problems in its initial phase, but once the route enters the Auvergne, it will become more mountainous. Easier slopes than in the Pyrenees or Alps, and so the Baroudeurs should be able to express themselves on the Col de la Croix Saint Robert, and then on the at the super best ski resort. The super best ski resort. I'm gonna visit that. <laughs> that could be fun. So, oh, because it all starts in the front, that's neat. Then he does, doesn't need to use any power, but... I want to see if the breakaway gets away on the stage. See you guys when the breakaway is away. I'm disappointed. I thought that a breakaway is going to win on the stage, but it's only three guys in the breakaway, and I don't think they got a chance. I think that they should have at least been five to seven riders, because then they could work together, but three guys, they're going to get burned really, really quick. I'm going to come back with the mountain sprint. That's more like it. Now six guys attack, and this, it's Luchmans, us, Rooks, Brut, Genesis Books, and Veduku. And Veduku actually got a good chance of winning this stage, I think. Together with Rocks, maybe. If they can get up to the the three in front, and I think they could do the three in front. So, <laughs> but I'm gonna come back with the mountain sprint if it's not gonna happen anything else in the, in the meantime. So we're now very close to the intermediate sprint, and maybe. I don't know if anyone of these there is gonna go. Of several riders in difficulty. What? <laughs> They're just hitting. hitting <laughs> They're just getting water. Fail. So, two min two kilometers back, and maybe I don't know if anyone's gonna go for it, but maybe L Van der Waal. Um, but do oh, I think he's gonna space leg maybe. Oh, is anyone gonna attack or? Oh, us is gonna do it. 
There's an attack in the leading group. Some riders were not giving it their all and sharing the pace. <laughs> that was close. So, but I'm still in the lead for the mountain jersey with Nicky Sanchen, and he's right here besides all the other all the other sex of bank guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna get water and with a fellow danger man. I'm gonna come back with the melee sprint. So who's gonna win this sprint? Is us gonna win it maybe? Yeah I think so he's gonna do it because he's the only good sprinter here. The pack doesn't seem to want to react and the gap continues to widen with the breakaway. That's nice to hear. I really don't care about the yellow jersey at this moment because I just want to take time on Andy Schleck and Evans. The yellow jersey can kind of suck my... yeah. Oh, sorry for swearing. Oh, it's only Brute going for it. And he, he's actually got some points. How many points is in the lead? Oh, not that one. <laughs> Almost 200. you got a long way to go, mate. And Daniel has got second. I'm gonna come back with the mountain sprint again. Sorry for this being kind of a lame start, but I'm just waiting to get to this mountain. Then it's gonna be very interesting. Is Gautier gonna win the mountain sprint again? Oh, that's the uh, wrong. That is Gautier's. Where is he? He's there. He's. I think he's maybe too far behind because Vaduga is also gonna go for it, and he's in the front together with Rugs. They are good play. They're good position at the moment. Oh, Rugs! Now he's going back. I think Vaduga is gonna win this one, maybe. Or else Gautier has to attack really, really fucking fast. Oh, but Duke is not gonna go for the it. The front group is disorganized, and some riders are exploiting this opportunity to attack. You can do that as well. That just means another day for Nikki Sanderson. So maybe Tusato is gonna take a lead there. And then Noval is gonna protect on the door. Because he's good in the. Oh. He's good in the mountains. Oh, he's kinda good. <laughs> but now we are getting close and it's BMC who's getting uh, We're starting the last third of the race. Okay. Who's trying to get them, man? Yeah, I don't feel about that because that means Evans got good legs and that means Constant has some competition. See you at the start of this mountain. So three of the punctures try to attack on their own and they are Simon Jarens. But technically and C Barreto and they actually got a chance if they can get enough time from us. But we actually getting them at the moment. But from some for riders me, are being left behind. For me I don't care. I just want to take too much slack, so they can win if they want to. Come on, Rambo, take the last troop. Nice. So we are getting close to the mountain. And they got oh, they're getting caught. Maybe they attack too early, maybe not. Let's see. So, I didn't play my cards too well. I lost all my riders almost. It was only uh, Navarro Garcia who could follow, but it's not a not a mountain... Uh, not, it, he's more of the mountain rider, he's not a puncher, so... I'm just sparing them for the next couple of days, I think. But we're now getting close to the sprint. And Contador is on the wheel of Evans and Andy leg, so it's gonna be interesting. I think that guys like Vanukurov and Kolopnev and Durant is gonna tag again sometime. They kinda has to, but I have to. <laughs> I actually got I got third! <laughs> I actually got placed on that sprint. That's nice. But I'm just in the front now. Oh I'm, I forgot to record the mountain. Sorry, I forgot that, but nothing interesting happened. It was just like five kilometers of my riders getting back and cause the dog going in the front with Slack and Hookerland. Well it's, He's got the mountain jersey in the real tour ranks. That's nice. And I I actually kinda irritating Slate, I think, because I'm taking Fox Wheel in front of him. So but I'm gonna record these last twenty kilometers. To see if oh I'm not gonna go with them. I'm not gonna go with them. It's punctures. Acceleration by Hugerland. And Beauclair. <laughs> oh Frank Slake's maybe gonna go with Oberado. Are you gonna attack Barreto? Or not? Who is in the group? Hoogland, he cannot attack, uh, attack anymore. Jarans, Kolotnev, Beauclair. Yeah, we, we're just missing Vinukarov, and then we got them all. It's kind of fun to watch. And there are just 15 kilometers left. Oh, there's some good riders in the bunch of this. And Chernel is there too. Oh, it's only because the Dawn Slack is sitting really good at this moment. And Barreto. Clodin, oh. What the f- 
again! An attack is launched! The group has to break apart! Come on, Consador. And you like attacked! Oh my god, this is bad. This is fucking bad. Come on, get away. We are now away, dude. Can you... Are the bunch trying to get us? Yeah, but that's only because I attacked. <laughs> Oh, that... Ten kilometers to the finish line. Fuck you, Slay. That's what you could call a fail attack. And they keep on attacking! Anyone that's low on gas definitely won't be able to keep up! It just seemed like he would get away with the time he was getting. So... Can Consador follow with the pace? I'm trying to put him on the dot with, like, on the start of this. So this is really nerve-wracking. Who's in the front? It's Kulapnev. Go Kulapnev. I'm cheering for you. If not, I'm gonna be in the front. So are we hitting the mountain now? Yeah, but maybe five kilometers. So it's a bit way out. Acceleration by Hugerland. What the fuck? You're gonna try, Contado. Put you on the dot and see if you get away from the pack. Five kilometers to the finish line. Is that Evans? And That's off it. he goes. He's giving it one last go. Now you're gonna follow. Now you got to follow. English legs on my wheel, and there goes Evans. He cannot follow. He cannot. F we are taking time on Evans. We are taking time on Evans. You're now on the dot. Come on, Contador. Come on. Follow slip. Can you not attack? This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Please attack, Contador. He's gaining time on us now. That's the worst case scenario I could get. No. Please catch him. Someone, Evans, catch him. Just not gain time on us, please. He gained time. Congratulations! He showed determination to add this win to his prize list. Why did he... His restoration was so freaking good, like... We attacked together and he got away, but I couldn't attack again. That's just irritating. But yeah, I lost 10 seconds. But I, I can't wait to get to the LPS where I can get, like, 30 seconds. I planned to get 10 seconds, but I lost 10 seconds. That's... Maybe I didn't lose anything. If I didn't lose anything, I'm gonna be so freaking happy because it was kind of a fail. But I can't wait to see the bunch get in now. Come on. We've selected the following highlights for you. Yeah, we already seen the bunch. He gained 11 seconds. That's not too bad. So now he got 2.5. Oh, we got two and a half minute now. What do I do? So I can't wait to get to Louisa then, the big mountain. I'm actually in the, I'm in the mountain jersey I think with Consistor because he got he got third. Yeah, he is. He he got two points and Durant is now in front of Nikki Sanchez. He just has to attack on one of the big stages. So. Uh, what place am I on now? I think 35. 30, 35th. <laughs> that sound is mongolisms. I don't know. Slag is the strongest just because he's so freaking lucky. I'm on the 20th place and I'm only 2 minutes behind now. So, tomorrow's stage, what is that gonna be? This, I have to get seconds. I have to. See you guys later.